What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you iPhone 3GS and iPhone 4 users how to unlock your phones when using iOS 5.0.1 and iOS 5.1. So let's get to it and I'm going to show you guys how to unlock your phones. The first thing I'm going to ask you to do is download a file called Com Center Classic. I provided the download link in the description below and I'll make sure you download the right one because they are different for the iPhone 3GS and 4. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up Cydia and we're going to click the Manage tab. Once we're on there, we're going to click Sources and up top we're going to click Edit and Add. We're going to add a source called Cydia.xlease. That's C-Y-D-I-A dot X-S-E-L-L-I-Z-E dot -E com. And we're going to click Add Source. And then on the pop-up, we are going to click Add Anyways. And we're going to wait for the source to update. Once it updates, we're going to be brought back to the main page here. And we're going to click Excelese. Then we are going to go down and we're going to find a file called iFile. It may take a few minutes to find, but I have sped it ahead. Um, as you see here on the top right, you're going to click install. Mine says modify because I already have iFile installed. But anyways, we're going to go back now after you install it. And we're going to make sure iFile has correctly installed on the system. We're going to click iFile. And there we go. So now what we are going to do is we're going to download a program called iFunbox if you are a Windows user. So we're going to go to i-funbox.com. The link will be provided in the description and we are going to download the program. Um, the download um, button is actually down at the bottom. Um, the, the one that says download up top is actually an ad. So you're going to click the one right here. If you are a Mac user, we actually have to download a different program. It's called Disk Aid 5. It's um, customized for Mac users only, so go ahead and download it. The download button is the blue button on the middle of the page right there. Now what we are going to do is we're going to hook our iPhones up to the computer and open up iFunbox or Disk 8.5. Once we're in there, we're going to go to the, to the raw system files. And we're going to find system and click on it. And then we're going to find library and click on that. And then we're going to find frameworks. Click on frameworks and then find core telephony dot framework. I might have to go down a little to find that. And there it is. And now we're going to find support. There is support. And then we're going to find Com Center Classic. And we're going to click right on that. And we're going to rename it to Com Center Classic Old. And the file we downloaded earlier was also Com Center Classic. We're going to go onto our system. We're going to find that. And we're going to paste it into here. I'm just going to drag it right in there. And there we go. And now we're going to take things over to our iPhone to do the rest. Now we are going to go ahead and we're going to click on iFile. And we're going to begin um, editing some files in there. We're going to go down there and we're going to select System. And we're going to select a Library. And we're going to search for Frameworks. Once you find that, on the next page you're going to find Core Telephony dot Framework. And there it is. I click that and now we're going to look for support. There's support. And then once we're in there, we're going to click on Com Center Classic. Oops, you actually have to click the blue arrow. Once you're in there, you're going to go down and you're going to select user. And you're going to um going to be putting in some different permissions. We're going to make sure read, write, and execute are checked. And we're going to go back out and then we're going to click group. And then we're going to um, make sure read and execute are selected. And we're going to go back out to world. We're going to make sure read and execute are also selected. And then we're going to go back out and we're going to click done. And then we can click the home button and we're going to go over to city off. So we're in there, we're going to click the Manage button. 
We're going to click Sources. And then we're going to click Repo666.ultrasnow.com. You're going to click on Ultra Snow and then Modify. And if you already have Ultra Snow installed, you're going to click Reinstall. If you do not have Ultra Snow installed on your device, then you're going to have to install it. So now we're going to go back and we're going to um, click on the Settings tab right here, Settings app. And we're going to turn Airplane Mode on. If your um, phone is not showing up as unlocked and you don't have a carrier up there, this is going to help you get the carrier. It should take a swipe on and off and then it'll, it'll search for your carrier and then you'll find it. And then there we go, my carrier showed up and that is all you have to do to unlock your phone. Um, please know that this is for 5.0.1 and 5.1 users. If you are on iOS 5 or below, Ultra Snow should be working without any of the, anything I already showed you. If you guys have any questions or anything, then um, please leave a comment or send me a message. I'll answer you as fast as I can. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know there's not many um, videos on YouTube about how to unlock your phone on 5.0.1 or 5.1. So I hope this um, helped you guys out, and thank you guys for watching.